pretty rough start to the night you know, with the cramp that I had experienced. But by the time we had two Panadol, Codeine, a Voltaren and, and Tramadol, and it was enough drugs on board to knock me out of thing for the night. But like all rugged nights, nothing starts a day off better than sizzling bacon and the smell of caffeine. I call this the sounds of wild camp breakfast. Have a listen. Dave didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Someone kept tossing and turning and snoring. I don't know who that was. Must have been someone else here in the bush. But, uh, <laughs> is that right, Dave? What's that in? Someone was toss tossing and turning and snoring in the bush last night? Oh, I think it was the bears that we've got Yeah, here. yeah, those bears are yeah, loud. Yeah, big bears. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm sure the bears apologize to you. Most definitely, and they didn't need to. <laughs> so this is an old Kauri dam. You can see the uh, where the dam is there and they would have had these uh, vertical lock this water up kauri in behind and then they just would have released it um, down this gorge So we're just coming to the end of Linneman's road track now and we're at the north-south junction so Waitafata Valley is to our right and that's where the way oh there we go so the hut in theory is two hours away that way Kurt and I have done a, a fair bit of talking on the way up talking. yeah stopping and talking yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been real good yeah the north-south track is, exists because this was one of the main arterial uh, tram lines and these totras that you can see across the track, they're not for the track purposes, they will literally be part of the um, trolley or the tram lines.
the rotten possum carcass in the waterway. The right thing to do here was to remove it. Five minutes, so this is one of the Cody dams. Awesome. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'll follow you. This is one of the Cody dams, so stringers across here. You can actually see the wire rope. Then they would have had um, other posts coming down. And then it gets released, and then the logs would have come down through here. Beautiful little campsite. I likes it. I likes it indeed. So you can quite clearly see how they've cut from the track out to create this passage. Just imagine huge kauri coming through here. For now we're just going to go and check out on the Waitafera hut. But yeah, once we finish lunch, we've still got four and a half hours. It's an old turntable. Foggy wheels. <gasps> wheels. A few tracks. Whew, look at those. I need those for my pergolas. Be very surprised there's nobody here. And there are mountain bikers. Did you guys bring the helicopter? Or is it coming to pick you up or what? Yeah, it's waiting for us. Oh, okay. What time's it arriving? An hour ago. <laughs> so we're at the Waitafera hut. So she's a pretty impressive girl. Um, beautiful big open space. Very, very popular with families because it's very easy to get in here. Of course, we've got a stove and um, just a ton of uh, bunks. So two separate bunk rooms. A very, very impressive hut. If you wanted to stay at this hut, um, it is a bookable hut at the moment. I think it's $15 a head. And I think you're supposed to even pay if you want a campsite, but I can't figure out how much that is. It's probably only $5. So yeah, why tough at a hut? So anyway, Kurt and I are now um, heading back to uh, the junction. Um, and we're going to head down to uh, Woodlands Road and allegedly uh, that's another four and a half hours and so we'll be out of here by six and for me it's back to work. If you've watched this far I really appreciate this but uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and you can be rest assured that our Dillsman Dave is going to take you on a lot more adventures in the near future. Thank you.
That was impressive. Yeah, it's just a pity I'm holding this camera. Yeah, well done. Hopefully that's the last one for the day. <laughs> Going, folks so um, I'm with Kurt we're just um, on our way home at the moment and we've just uh, stopped in for a pizza and uh, you know it's that time we always do a, a highs and lows so Kurt what would be your highs and lows of the last couple of days I think the high was believe it or not that wild bush bash that we did just the craziness of it. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been my low. Yeah. No, it was just the craziness. It, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, that, that would be my high. Okay. I think, yeah. I mean, and, and then today, all the river crossings, that was just beautiful. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, I, I was thinking about it because obviously I've done highs and lows for um, yesterday. Um, but once again, my high today would just simply be hanging out with this guy. I mean, mm. I, I didn't know Kurt yesterday. <laughs> and we've just, we have just had, we've had oh, a ball. It's been fantastic. Yeah, it's been, yeah. we've talked about some really <clears throat> deep and meaningful stuff. And yeah, um, yeah we just, we've got on really well. And I've just oh, really appreciated your company. Um, yeah, it's been fantastic. Really um, and I, I actually don't have a low today. Um, the, um, the, Problems that I was having with my legs, I didn't have mm. today. Uh, mind you, I've taken on a lot of painkillers to get through <laughs> that. And so, yeah, we just, um, I just, we just want to say thank you mm. once again so much for watching. Yeah. And if you got to the end of the video, which this is, well, you know what to you do. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like button. Hit, Hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button. button. And uh, you can be guaranteed yeah. that you're going to get another exciting adventure with Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. And Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.